So how do you know for sure which variables have uh, only two values in it and what those values actually represent? To do that, you're going to go to the code book. And for example, I'm going to look at that biological sex here, base here is sex. So I type in, that was a control F by the way, or maybe control command F on a Mac, I'm not sure. Uh, but here if I look at the base year sex, I've already taken out all the missing, or I've already labeled them, so you don't need to worry about them. So the categories for me are going to be one and two. One is going to be males, uh, two is going to be females. Let me give you another example. Uh, native so race would not have to, although you could recode race into two, two variables, or you could honestly even choose two of the race uh, values. So you could compare just blacks with Hispanic, uh, for example. Here is one where the native language, um, they were asking whether English is the student's native language. Zero would be no, one would be yes. So that would be a, a variable with only two values on it. And remember that in the variable view under measure, you can see what type of um, variable we're dealing with. So not all the nominals will have um, only two categories, but you could you could always pick two of the categories if you wanted to. Um, this one does best friend sex is either male or female. Best friend is Hispanic, either yes or no. Uh, on the other hand, something like uh, parents religion is not. But if we go to, let's see, BYP 33. Um, let's take a peek at the code book. BYP33. Um, here's the different codes. So it would be quite easy actually to do everything we're going to do here um, for just two of these. For example, maybe you wanted to compare Jewish and Hindu or uh, Presbyterian and Catholic. Uh, the only trouble you'd run into is when you make your histograms and descriptives tables, you're going to get uh, info on all 12 categories, um, and you would just have to cut out the, the two that you were interested in. But when you actually go to run the independent samples test, uh, there's a place where you get to choose which values you're looking at, uh, so it would be easy enough to, to handle that. But you do need to choose a nominal variable and a scale variable.